YouTube, what is up? It is your boy Duke, back here from SportsGamers.com. And in today's Madden 24 video, we got an absolute banger, because I'm about to break down the biggest glitch play in the game. Nothing really can stop this, guys. I promise you, you're not going to want to miss this video, because if you miss it, a lot of people are going to be abusing this on you, and you're going to have no idea what is going on. This is a must-watch. So this year, we know that RPOs in general are really good. They're OP. They're the best types of runs to use in the game. And there's one that is way better than the rest. Most RPOs, there's a, there's a way to defend them that works pretty well. This RPO, there's really nothing you can do. If someone knows what they're doing, this RPO is crazy. Now, I will say there is one or two little things you can do to counter this RPO, but you kind of got to get crazy. But it really, it's unstoppable if you know what you're doing. So we're going to be in the spread offensive playbook. The spread offensive playbook has a lot of crazy plays. And the Gun Trio Offset Week has, in my opinion, the craziest. Now, this play was really good last year, but I feel like it's even better this year. And we're going to break down why it is so good and how to utilize it and why just nothing really stops it. And it's the Gun Trio Offset Week RPO Read Bubble. Now, just to show you guys, in my coaching adjustments for defense, I'm putting option on conservative. Just so you guys can see that you know i'm making sure that i'm not just gonna be able to keep this and glitch with the quarterback because that that is something you can do on this play but i just wanted to show you guys that like legit i have my option defense on conservative before we get into this this play is a glitch and i'm about to show you guys how you can utilize it versus every defense and why it is so much better than other rpos and why it is so unstoppable right now so if you guys like high level madden content if you're new to the channel, if you like high level tips and gameplays, make sure you subscribe to the channel, comment, drop me a like on the video, and if you play daily fantasy sports, be sure to check out Thrive Fantasy. Guys, if you click the link in my comments in my description, I've provided you a link to use my code DUKE, and you'll get a 100% deposit match up to $250. It's the best offer of the year. Thrive Fantasy is the place to be for daily fantasy sports. Guys, this RPO is a bit better and a bit more effective than any other out there, and here's why. There's a few reasons. Number one, you have your trips to the left. Now, having trips period of RPOs is good, but this one is even better because, yes, you have your trips left, but the running back is also on the left. This does a few things. Number one, you can't play match coverage. Rule four, right? Four eligible receivers on one side of the screen or field, match does not apply. I know match is not the best this year. It is broken some ways, but there's still a lot of good ways to play match. You can't play match. Number two, to defend the bubble screen or have a shot, you need to have three defenders lined up on the left over the trips so essentially you have to have a defender lined up over every single one of the trips receivers or you have no shot in the bubble screen but if you do that you can't really defend the run because again because the, most bubble screens um the running back is gonna basically attack the same side as the bubble no the running back's on the left too so he's actually attacking the right so just numbers wise you're kind of out of whack the other thing about bubbles that are really good this year in rpos is that the adaptive ai or the read and react is, does not apply because the RPOs have a passing element to them. For example, you run inside zone once or twice, basically the, the defense starts to play better. It never will do that on RPOs because you could potentially pass the ball so it just won't apply. Also, you kind of have to blitz RPOs because if you only rush like three dudes, basically play coverage G, oftentimes your whole defense gets pancaked. So that's why people like RPOs. Now, you know, just standard here, like you can see a defense like this, there's nobody lined up really over the bubble screen. You know, I know I can just snap the ball and throw the bubble, and because I have the trips receivers, get really good blocking, maybe score a touchdown. So, you know, that kind of makes somebody, like, think, like, okay, I guess I got to, like, move someone, an additional player out in the slot, and then as soon as that happens, you know, obviously you can just hand the ball off, but the funny thing about it is, and what makes this bubble screen so good and better than the rest is you, you could still throw the bubble in the situation I just described. So, guys, most people who are defending bubble screens – you know, and RPO actions, they know like, okay, like I can't really play zone because they're just gonna throw the RPO. And then if I just, you know, even if they put a hard flat over that guy, it still doesn't really play it that well. So what most people do against RPOs is they play man, right? So they'll, they'll be like, okay, like spinner, Mike with zero, a loop defense. That's the kind of defense you'll see against bubbles. Now, most bubbles and RPOs will get shut down by this. The reason for this is like, you're going to have, like, right here, you see a man lined up directly over my receiver on the bubble screen. That normally shuts, shuts them down. And then because I'm blitzing, no longer are you going to get the pancake blocks. So it's harder to run the handoff action. Now, I do want to point out, guys, you guys can see there's an R over that defender's head. He's the read. 
he actually has to play the quarterback, right? So, because he has to be aware of the quarterback, that's the guy that's actually manned up, manned up a lot of times to the guy on the bubble screen. Because he has to be aware of the quarterback, um, he's going to get glitched by the bubble screen. Because we could not only hand it off to the running back, we could keep it with the quarterback and run, or we can throw the bubble. So watch what happens here. He gets sucked into worrying about the quarterback and abandons his man on the bubble screen. This is what makes this play so deadly, is it's not just a RPO handed off or throw the bubble. No, I can keep it with the quarterback. Do you want to become a better Madden player and win more games? If so, check out my premium Madden strategy website, sportsgamers.com. I have built sportsgamers.com to provide you with the best Madden tips, best Madden ebooks and schemes, all from the pros at the lowest price possible. I have helped thousands upon thousands of Madden players improve their games, and I can help you as well. Our VIP Madden membership is our best offer yet. This membership will include all of our Madden ebooks all year long and hundreds of weekly Madden Vault tip updates to keep you ahead of the game. Click the link in the description and use coupon code DUKE for 10% off your order. And because I could keep it with the quarterback, even if you man your dude up, he's looking at me. See? See how I just, I keep it with the quarterback? And as soon as I go to throw the ball, he's, he, he abandons his man coverage. He doesn't know what to do. Look, he's responsible for watching the quarterback. So I throw the bubble, and the guy that's manned up on him, he does not guard him. And I basically get a huge play, a touchdown. Now, it's not like the, you're probably wondering, oh, like, does that just happen on spinner? I'm like, no, like, that happens on, like, pretty much all the meta man defenses people play against bubble screen. So, like, I could go 3-3 three, three, Cub, Mike Blitz, 0, and uh, the same thing is going to happen, guys. Um, you know, the same thing's gonna happen. So, like, here, you guys can see, like, again, this is just straight man. I'm not doing anything crazy here. This is straight man coverage. Um, yeah, let's look at it. So, again, you'll notice, because of the alignment, the dude that is assigned as the read man for this is typically gonna be the, re the guy that's manned up to that receiver if you're in a man cover zero blitz, which is what people do to defend these. So, if you guys take a look here, look, same thing happens. He gets sucked in. And, well, you know, I should have had a big play right there. I just didn't get a good animation, so I had to, like, run backwards. But, like, look, I'll do it again. Again, look, he's the R. Keep it. Throw it. Look, again, get a better animation right, like, here. Catch it in the stride. You might score a tutty, buddy, buddy, man. We out. So, guys, anytime you see this R, basically the read man is the guy that's assigned to that, uh, to guard the receiver on the bubble, you know you can throw the bubble every time because he's going to have to be responsible for at least trying to defend the quarterback, right? So you see that? Literally just throw it out there, and you know it's free money, man. It's an absolute glitch. This is something not too many people know about, is that you can literally throw this bubble screen damn near every time against man-to-man -man because the majority of defenses people play, the dude this man up to the bubble screen is going to be the read man, and he's going to have to pay attention to the quarterback. So you can't play man you cannot play zone, what are you going to do? You know, the, the thing a lot of people might try to do is just play a more safe man, like a cover two man, but you can't really do that because if you do that, now you don't have enough people uh, playing the run, so I can just hand the ball off and gas you with the run. This play is crazy, man. The spread playbook has a lot of plays like this, so if you want an easy like RPO-based offense to run that doesn't take a lot of thinking, you know, and you want to beat these man blitzes and these zone blitzes, I mean, this is definitely the playbook for you. I'd highly recommend checking it out. If you like this video, smash that like button. Until next time, it's your boy Duke, and I'm out of here.